still happily playing in the mud in the water. A few have made it round to this side of the swamp. The majority of them are still over in the wrong direction, so it's just a matter of uh, wait and see. Cross my fingers they come my way because uh, the wind's a bit fickle at the moment. I don't want to uh, blow my position here by trying to move. Keep you updated. And I got my arrow back and cleaned through him. Ripped the flights off, which that's okay, I don't mind that. Got his blood on the arrow. There's a little bit of blood trail here. Unfortunately, I couldn't get all the footage of me sitting with uh, my ball, my bloody camera played up. There is a uh, good sized boar in the swamp. I'm just trying to sneak up and get as close as I can, take a shot. And he busted me. early this morning checking out all the swamps all the rain and storms we've had there's a lot of water on the ground wow look at this this beautiful young boar presents himself I got within 15 meters of him and while I'm filming this I'm almost crying because I didn't bring me bloody bow heading towards the creek and uh, I spot these four dingoes in the distance and two were uh, on the screen now and the other two sort of buggered off to me right a bit out of screen and I didn't pay much more attention to them I kept walking towards the creek wow struth next minute 
These two dingoes are running at me full speed, eh? Oh shit, Briggs, so I thought I'm going to be attacked. So I grabbed me bowie knife and I yelled and I yelled and they hit the skids. One took off towards the other two on my left and this one just sort of stood there for a little while looking at me as if saying, well, Hey! What the hell are you? What are you doing? Like the camo I had on and, yeah, mistaken identity maybe. But bloody hell, I was relieved, I can tell you. It's all right. So you're going to attack me. It's okay. Oh, fucking hell. That got me heart going. Well, this would be one of the easiest hunts I've ever done. I spotted this pig about 60 metres in the swamp, let me try to up, carried the camera in, got close, and uh, yeah, well no, went down with one arrow, and uh, yeah, not a trophy, but a young boar anyway. Good little hunt, quick one, love it. Thanks for the hunt, mate.
light's fading fast. Spotted this young boar just starting to feed into this little swamp here. And uh, I had to wade in through the swamp myself, the way the breeze was blowing. I managed to get within 30 metres, clean shot through the chest, out the other side, found the arrow, which is a bonus, and uh, yeah, good little boar. Excellent. This is my uh, first scrub bull that I've shot in many, many years. Normally I'm uh, a pig hunter, but when uh, you get an opportunity like this fella gave me, he stood up, was laying down about 35 metres from me in the bush in this scrub, and um, I stood me ground and uh, didn't want him to charge. <laughs> and eventually uh, we had a standoff and I got closer by about five metres and um, just as I come out from behind cover to get a clean shot, he, he turned broadside to me, it was perfect. So one arrow straight in the uh, boiler room. And I watched him for about an hour until he collapsed. And then uh, here he is, first thing in the morning. I'm on my way to see the dead beast that I shot a few days ago, see what the carcass is like. And um, I'm just making my way through to uh, where the, near the, where the swamp is now. What the fuck is this? Holy shit! Never seen pigs flatten the grass like this before. Something has slid over this. I reckon there's a fucking croc coming here. Something slid over this mound. Look at the, the way the grass is flattened. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but something crawled through here, slid. That's, that's been, the mud has been dragged over. And look at the width of it. Look at the width. And every time I go back to um, check out this carcass, I, uh, I usually get the drone up and have a look, see if the snapping handbags laying in the grass somewhere because uh, he's obviously protecting that carcass.
Look at the way this has been flattened all around. It doesn't look like anything's been eating the carcass yet. Yep, nothing's, nothing's touched the carcass. Here's where the croc's been coming in and out. He's come out and he's gone in there to where the beastie carcass is. Well, it's two weeks later and uh, I found my arrow. My broad head. That's what did the damage. She's a bit rusty. Size crop too, look at the size of those claw marks. Well, I'm going to grab my arrow, that's what I come back for, and I'm getting the hell out of this long grass. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you have. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.